All right, so here's everything you're gonna need uh, to make rust. Um, most important thing is a DC power supply. Uh, what I'm using here is just like a car battery charger. Um, it's got 12 volt settings uh, and six amp settings. Um, so it gives a good amount of power. You can also use like <clears throat> phone chargers or or old like um, computer power supplies. Uh, not the kind that go inside like a tower, but like for a laptop. Any kind of DC power supply, like anything like for like a remote control, uh, car, battery charger, anything like that that supplies DC voltage uh, can be used can be used for this. Obviously, the more voltage it outputs and the more amps it outputs, the quicker uh, the rate is going to be that you produce your rust. Um, next thing I need is some kind of uh, container. This is to put. Uh, this is where the rust making uh, happens. It happens in here. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is the filter, so you can filter your rust away from the water uh, when, you, when you're done uh, actually making the rust. Um, and I'll show you how to actually build the filter uh, later. This <clears throat> is a salt solution. It looks just like plain water. Um, what I did is I put about this much salt in the bottom with some hot tap water and then just shook it up until it was clear. Um, so it makes a nice salt solution. This allows the water to be conductive and... Um, which <clears throat> makes the uh, iron rust or whatever. So the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of iron, obviously. Uh, here's a few nails. Now, if you notice, if you, I don't know if you can see that, but the nails, sometimes nails will have a coating on them that keep them from rusting. It almost looks like an orangish, yellowish type tint. Uh, you're probably going to have to scrape that off. Uh, best bet would be probably with a brush wheel of some sort or like on a bench grinder um, before you can actually make the rust or else it, it won't conduct hardly at all and it'll just basically sit there uh, and it might it might make it a little rust but it won't be like anything substantial uh, what I find is if you can actually find a piece of metal that has like it's already been rusting that's probably your best bet um, this is just a piece of metal uh, as you can see it's black it's got paint on it so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to scrape this off before we actually use it alright so I've got the, uh, the battery charger here and uh, it's connected to the positive lead which is connected to one of the uh, rods that I have suspended in the uh, solution and then I'm going to put the negative lead in there and then you'll see it start to bubble and whatnot. Here we go. Alright. This is about for like 10 minutes. As you can see, it's like a blackish, greenish, kind of nasty looking color. Um, that's usually normal, and it's probably going to be black looking until it dries. So just keep that in mind so don't like freak out and be like, oh no, it's what the hell's wrong? It doesn't look anything like rust, you know, and leave crazy comments and whatnot. Alright, so every once in a while I'll just kind of check on it. Um, what you might have to do is you might have to use like a scraping tool. And if you take it, look at it, it's kind of, it's pretty corroded. You just kind of scrape the gunk off every once in a while. Let's see. Alright, um, while our rust making is going, I'm going to show you guys how to make the filter. It's pretty simple. All you need is like a paper cup, um, coffee filter like I showed before, some duct tape and some scissors. First thing you're going to do is just cut the bottom of the cup off. This will allow the excess water to kind of just drain out onto the onto the ground because we're going to do this outside. Okay, so once you get the bottom cut off, then just take coffee filter and stick it in there. And what you're going to want to do is kind of like want to you want to fold fold it over the edge like that. And so what you're going to do is basically make like a little pouch and then just use the duct tape pieces here to secure the, uh, the coffee filter to the cup so it doesn't slide in or whatever. And I usually just do this all the way around. Alright, so that is burning about two hours now. Um, as you can see, it's got more of like a reddish tint to it. Uh, and then at the bottom, it's kind of blackish looking, if you can see that. It's kind of nasty. Um, all that shit, once it dries, uh, 
all that should turn into red rust and whatnot. Um, so now um, all there is left to do is just uh, take the uh, take the rods out. Uh, all right, now that I got the rust solution all like stirred up and whatnot, I'm just gonna pour it in the filter here. Pour it. There we go. Let that filter through. I kind of spilled a little bit of it, that's okay. Alright, uh, now it's done filtering. If you can see that, uh, it's starting to turn red a little bit already. Um, so now I'm just gonna just kind of pour it out, scrape it out, whatever, onto this tray so it'll so it can dry. <clears throat> Alright, so you see that I've spread it around pretty good. That way it'll dry nice and evenly and fairly quick. It won't take forever to dry, hopefully. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more shit like this.